Okay, let's go ahead. All right. Uh, you know, Luke, did you guys feel that this was kind of your first big test of the year, and is that kind of why you know you guys came out so 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 hot in that in that first quarter? Um, I don't know if I'd say this is our big first test of the year. This is another big game for us, uh, of course. You know, going 0-2 the past two years against Winona, we knew this was going to be a big game. We knew they were going to come out ready, and uh, I think our week of preparation went really well. And we came out ready to go today, and uh, you know, they put up a great fight. We had some slumps out there. Um, they played a good game. You know, credit to them. But uh, I think we responded pretty well on the offense and defense side of the ball, and uh, you know, we got the result we wanted. Yeah. From the press box, the throwing motion you have looks a little odd. Is that something that you kind of worked on, or is that have you always kind of had that? Um, I guess it's just the way I throw the ball. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, mean it's, it's effective. Like, it's, it's beyond effective. Know. Right. Remember Bernie Kozar? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, I tend not to think about it very much. So. Yeah. yeah. Can you just talk about your development as a quarterback? Um, you know, where, where you think you've, you've grown the most, and now you're kind of you know one of the most dangerous you know QBs in, 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 in the league. Um, you know, last year I think I was uh, I didn't know the offense as well as I do this year, and so I got out of the pocket a little too soon last year, and you know I didn't have. Uh, I wasn't the best in the past game, didn't make all the reads I needed to. I think this year I'm just a lot more comfortable in our offense. Um, I understand everything a little bit well. The game slowed down a little bit, uh, making some reads a little bit better and a little bit faster. Um, and so that was that was probably the biggest thing we worked on this offseason, was just getting the reads down and you know getting to feel comfortable in the offense. Did you feel that you guys left some points on the board there on some of those drives? Uh, you yeah. That may come back, even though you're up 35-7 or whatever, do you think that may come back to that? Um, yeah, yeah. You know, I definitely think we left some points on the board. Uh, There's some big plays, especially down in the red zone, and we got to convert when we're on the two yard line. I missed a big pass to Stanky. Um, there's just a couple of little plays out there that if we fix, you know, we're putting up, you know, a couple more touchdowns out there. Um, I can't say I was ever really worried, though, because our, our defense is great. You know, I love the excitement that they bring to the table. Um, I had a complete 100% trust in them, and so did the entire offense, and we knew they were going to get the job done. I think that's all I have for you. So if you want to take Perfect. it, appreciate it. Thank you very much. See you down here. Yep. See you. Okay. See you. Thank you. Uh, Coach, did you feel that this this win kind of you know validated your your undefeated season a little bit, or I mean I don't know if that that's the right question, but I mean, did you feel that this is kind of like your a one that may send a message to the rest of the league that hey, you know these guys are definitely for real. Yeah, I know what you're asking because yeah. you know the reality is is, is um, you know you look at the tradition of this program. We know that we're zero two against them up coming into this game. Um, you know, I I think people will look at records sometimes, and I've been asked for seven weeks now. You know, have we played anybody good? Played anybody good? And you know the reality is is we have. You know, we've we've won all of our games by double digits, and you know sometimes you're you're kind of defending your players by how they play, but to your point, um, you know, Augustana has become a lot better. Southwest was very explosive offensively. And so we've played, uh, Winona we felt like is probably your most well-rounded team. And then kind of how they play here at home uh, in a hostile environment on homecoming, it, it, it is a, another big test for us. I think that, you know, you know we're, we're, uh, we've proven in the last couple, you know, since we've been in the Northern, Northern Sun, we're a pretty good road team and, and so our, our guys, uh, um, coming into another hostile environment because I really respect you know, what Tom does here. They're, they're just a very physical football team. You know, it's the hardest we've been hit in a while, um, and I, I, you know that all the time. It's going to be hostile here, and so it's a big win for us. Yeah. Now, I know you're on the outside looking into to the Winona State program, but are you surprised that their offense just not for all the weapons they seem to have that they just can't seem to get it going? Well, you know, um, you know, behind the scenes, you know, we, we talk and, you know, Coach Sawyer and I have been friends. We know each other. They're, you know, they've got some, they got some guys battling through some, a lot of injuries and a lot of mm -hmm. stuff. And I know this time of the year, you, you know, we're in the same boat. We got guys that, that are battling through some injuries. You know, I think, um, you know, they lost a, a great, a great running back, you know, early. Um, you know, that, that can cause a little bit of, uh, um, you know, some, Hurdles to overcome, and but they still have got athletes, like you said. Um, you're always going to have these years, you know, where, where some things might not just go your way. And, and uh, but I, I know that they won't. Uh, uh, they're always going to be a really good football program. Yeah. So you, you got to kind of always be ready. What uh, you know? What does Luke give you at, at the quarterback position, and how the game seems to be changing? If you have a mobile quarterback, it seems like it can hide a lot of other things. Is that? 
Well, you know, how, yeah. How more dangerous does that make your offense to have that, that running ability? Yeah, I've been, my whole background has been a defensive guy. You know, that you always, when you have to face running quarterbacks, um, you know, uh, guys that can hurt you when they get out of the pocket, you know, it, it adds a whole different element. You know, Luke's a warrior. You know, he's, he's, a, he's been battling through uh, injuries last year. He had to overcome that. You know, he hasn't played quarterback very long. I mean, he was uh, in high school, he basically played his senior year and uh, played a lot of other positions coming in. So we're kind of excited about his development. He didn't have a spring to work on, uh, on, on it. he didn't have a spring football. Uh, he got cleared basically halfway through the summer and still had to go sparingly in, in fall camp. So he's, he's kind of developing, like you said, on the fly. You know, the thing about him, he's just got that leadership capability when, when things go bad, uh, turnovers, fumble, he's just got a great resolve about him on the sideline, really brings a lot of com confidence to the team and how he handles adverse situations. And, uh, He's got a huge heart, and uh, yeah, we're blessed to have him. Would you feel that you lost uh, some some points on the board? Absolutely. I mean, we you know it's disappointing our, our penalties. Um, it's disappointing that we miss field goals. That we haven't miss, been missing field goals. We got one tip, and maybe another one tip. It's execution. Uh, no disrespect to uh, uh, to Winona State. Um, you know, it's just you know when you see some drop balls on first downs, and you see uh, you know some of that execution. Um, you know, not being, not executing on some of those things, it you know it frustrates you because you feel like, uh, you know, these this is too good of a team to let them creep back, and that's why I told them on the momentum shifts. You know, it's different if you're not playing an explosive team. You know, when you're playing somebody who can strike that fast, you better not give them those opportunities. Uh, how big is next week going to be? Oh, it's huge. I, you know, you sometimes wonder you jump out to a big lead in the first quarter like that, and and in the first half, you know, we're, we're we, we, we you know, all of a sudden I think sometimes your sideline can get a little giddy or. Or lose a little focus because you know I, I know uh, you know we haven't beat Mankato either. We came into here and haven't beat Winona yet. Uh, finally did today, and, and and now we're playing the number one team in the country, and we couldn't ask for anything better. I mean, I, I uh, I'm glad they're number one. I, you know, we, we like the challenge of going up and playing a really good football team in another hostile environment, and uh, you know we got to go see kind of what we're made of. And so we'll be focused this week, no question.